with your shave complete, it's now time to move on to the post shave and to the cleanup. So first things first is make sure you can rinse off your face. Remove any remaining soap. And if you are going to be using alum now, this is the time to do it. Now bear in mind, alum is a natural astringent, it's a natural antiseptic, it's great for taking care of small nicks or little weepers. Um, and what you do is you take your alum block and you wet it, preferably under cold water, and then simply rub the alum over your freshly shaven face. If you are feeling the alum sting a little, that is telling you where you will have exerted a little too much pressure and you might have a bit of razor burn starting. Now once you're done, simply rinse off your alum again and dry it off. It is a block of salt and so if you leave it wet, it's going to slowly disintegrate and you would like to avoid that. You only leave the alum on for 30 seconds, maybe a minute. And if you find that the alum is simply too drying for your skin, then stop using the alum and switch over to using witch hazel, which many people find to be a great substitute for alum. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it off. I use cold water for this rinse because it usually feels great. If your face is a little bit hot after that shave, cold water rinse at the end feels really good. All right, well, pat your face dry. Remove any remaining soap if you have some. For those who have larger ears, there always seems to be a little bit of soap trapped in there. Now, one of the greatest philosophical questions of our time is, what do I do? Aftershave splash and then the balm, or the balm and then the aftershave splash? And the question always seems to come down to, well, if I do the aftershave first and then the balm, am I somehow messing with the scent of the aftershave? So what I recommend doing is, I recommend an aftershave splash I'm going to use now. Rub your hands together and apply the splash over your face. And I always apply this in the direction of the growth of the hair and do not rub it against. If you have any irritation, then at this point rubbing against the grain is going to increase that irritation. So just rub it in and apply with the grain. And what I do is I apply the aftershave splash, simply let it completely dry and apply, if I'm going to, aftershave balm at some point later. I don't directly apply it on top of the aftershave splash until that has completely dried. But you may find that you don't need an aftershave splash and that the balm is simply all that you need. Try out the options and see which one works best for you. So that's it, your shave is done. You've prepped your razor, you've got your brush ready, you prepped your face, you built a lather, you shaved, you applied your favorite aftershave splash or balm, and now it's time to clean up. And what you're going to do for your brush is you're going to need to rinse it out, completely removing all of the soap in it. And there's two ways to do that. What you can do is simply hold it under some running water like this, so the water runs through it, and then simply continue to squeeze the brush and clean it out of soap. Or you can hold it under some running water with your hand gripping the knot and let the knot fill with water, squeeze, fill with water, squeeze, fill with water, squeeze, until the knot is completely clean. So let me go ahead and rinse this one out. And once you have it rinsed out and completely clean of soap, you're going to want to dry the brush a little bit before you put it away. And you do that by simply squeezing out the brush of any remaining water. There we go. And then take your brush and you're going to strop or stroke it on a towel simply to remove any excess moisture that might still be trapped inside. You can squeeze it gently and just strop or stroke the tips on the towel to make sure that they're getting good and dry. Um, I also use my thumb and sort of fan and turn, fan and turn, fan and turn to help the knot really open up and to help make sure that the brush has a good chance to dry. Now, in terms of putting your brushes away, you can either simply put your brush standing upright on its end, 
or you can put it in a hanger stand. It doesn't matter. Either way, your brush is going to dry fine. The number one thing to keep in mind though, is you need to leave enough air and breathing room around your brush so it actually can dry and air dry. If it's packed back in a case or too tightly packed inside a medicine cabinet or something like that, it will not have enough room to dry. You want to make sure that it has enough airspace around it. So with your brush all cleaned and dried and ready to be put away, the last thing you need to do is take care of your razor. What you want to do now is simply rinse off your razor under some running water. Make sure that the head is good and clean, that there's no soap or hair stuck inside it. You do not need to disassemble the razor between every shave. And you definitely do not need to take the blade out and turn it over between shaves. There is no benefit to that. It doesn't keep the blade any sharper. It doesn't make your shaves any smoother. So once you have your razor assembled, leave it assembled until it's time to change the blade. Now that may be three shaves, that may be five shaves. It all depends on how it goes with that particular blade and your beard combo. Well, that's it. You, you've done it. You had a fantastic shave. You assembled your razor. You got your great lather going. You did a three pass shave. When you're done and everything is out of the way, give yourself an admiring look in the mirror. You did a very good job there. And until next time, thank you.